How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome to Whispering Willows. This is a new game I just found on Steam. It's kind of like an indie horror game. I don't know much about it since it just came out, but let's learn together. Let's jump right into it. Uh, profile name be Elena. Sure. I know it's a female protagonist game. Brightness looks good. Language English. Preferably. I don't know many other stuff. But mansion groundskeeper goes missing. Okay. Oh gosh. That must be me. Woo. Just by the screenshots, this game looked amazing. But, uh, ooh, look it. I've got a teardrop necklace. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, badass. Oh, crap. I ran away from home. That's not cool. Well. Okay. I found this mansion. I dreamt about this mansion, and I just already... Oh, look at that. I can go right... Of course, there's, like, an obvious hole that I can go through. The ooh. Whoa! Um, oh crap, of course. Oh my god! I fell through a hole? Okay, that was interesting. Chapter 1, Wart Wartham's War. Okay, this is this looks interesting. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Let's, oh, press space to pick up the amulet. I thought I'd lost it. Press E to open inventory. Okay, cool. Amulet, my family's heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. It's been passed down the Armstrong generations. This looks very well made. This looks very nice. New diary. Press escape to read. Willow's family catacombs. What is this place? I'm so lost and mom doesn't know where I am and supposed to be looking for dad. I have to find a way out of the here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just... Get out of here. I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay, cool. Already, I love the graphics of this. It's kind of like a, um... It looks very comic book-esque. And I love that. And that was the first thing that got me, was the actual screenshots I saw, the gameplay of, um... You know, the little, um... I'll put a link in the description so you guys can go check this out on Steam. Um, right now I know it's on sale, but I think it's like regularly like 15 bucks, 10 bucks. My necklace is glowing. Uh, girl, hear me, girl. Your power calls to me. Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Natamotak, non Taco tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and it, it glows in the spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Shamanic powers? Let it be your guide. Press Q to change form. To change f What? Oh my, the flying hawk. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as in one in the end. A fragment life cannot be lived. I lost my body and look at me now, but perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside with, within your a amulet and teach you to find, fend off the darkness. I can't even wish today. Flying Hawk's Ghost. Cool. Um, this is amazing. I love this so much already. Okay, so how do I get back in my body? That's, um, that's a question. This is really cool. I feel safer around having Flying Hawk around. That's my inventory right now. Okay, so probably I have to leave and go on ahead. There's a crack above that door used to get in the other room. Oh my god, the mechanics of this game. Are oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, this is an amazing game. I'm loving this more and more and more. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Oh, hell yes. This is... Oh, yeah. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. Press Q to go back to human form. And I don't have to do it from way back there. I don't have to travel back. New diary entry. Okay. Interior Flying Hawk. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can not I can take control of my spirit. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think anything can stop me now. I don't think so, man. You're freaking 
awesome. This chick, I have so many, so much jealousy already. And it's just a video game. But isn't that how most video games work? Pick up the note. Flying Hawk 1 of 5. I soared through the sky as I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core, and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt flesh and rock bones. When all that was left were their hands they used to shape the world. Their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. The Spirit Realm calls for me more often than it did before. As High Shaman of the Wantako tribe, I must heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. Okay, cool. So, I guess Flying Hawk, I think that's his name. I think he's going to be guiding me, kind of like Navi uh, in Zelda. Not curious enough to look through that. Okay. As you say. Let's go down the creepy hallway. This is amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I find this amazing. This graphically it looks great. Um, can I like go through the rocks? Please tell me I can. Oh, I can't. Son of a gun. That would have been awesome. Okay, let's go down. I do love how this looks though. Graphically, this looks amazing. I really like, I, I, I'm just gonna keep saying it. I love the graphics in this game already. I can already tell you guys I'm gonna love playing this, whether I re record it or not. I'm gonna be playing this for a long time. This, this game looks amazing. Um, how do I possess items again? Can, can I please? Can I please, 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 please? Looks like it's a pulley system. But I don't know how. Okay, well, I gotta. Oh, I went through a gate. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know there was a gate there. But apparently there was. It's locked. The door is smeared with blood. Okay. So the whole goal is to find my dad. Uh, urn. As uh, sure it seems a lot of people have died here. Yeah. And it's locked. Storage is written on the door. I wish there was a map I could have. Because I'm gonna forget where all of this stuff is. Again, gra it's like a living comic book kind of, like, graphic. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep talking about the graphics. I think the graphics look amazing. Even though it's a simple, you know, 2D, you know, walk-along kind of game. It still looks amazing to me. I think I came through this way. I don't know if I went up. We're gonna go up, though. It's got a good storyline so far. Added note, okay. Flying Hawk number two. The Great Eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The earth turned in on itself, and so too did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought it with them brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust darken in the sky. No plants grew and giant black rivers cut across the land like infected veins. Monstrous looking beasts of metal and industry will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. That, that's another thing I love, is you don't see such colorful language in most indie games. And if it is, they're usually... Coffin of Willet Hagar. Rest in peace. Groundskeeper. And if you do, you know, see colorful, it's usually... It's, it's not usually it's spelled correctly. There's, you know, there's a bunch of usual things that are wrong with most indie games. But this is... This is a very, very well-made indie game. I'm loving this. I, I have nothing but great. Ooh, there's a key. Nothing but great things to. Okay, so it'll tell me if I can take over, or possess it. Cool. Let's grab this key. Hello, key. Storage key. Sweet. I like the storage key, and I know where the storage key goes. Cool. I'll go check what's in the storage, and then I'll end the episode here. Um. 
I really want your guys' valued opinion on this. This game I just saw popped up on Steam. I'm like, you know what? Let's take a chance on this. This looks pretty cool. And uh, hopefully everybody will like it. I'm playing games that take more interest in the, you know, indie community. Because a lot of games don't get as much recognition as I think they should. So, uh, yeah, can I open that? Oh, okay, cool. I don't need to go on my thing. I'll just say that. Just search. Uh-oh. My necklace is glowing red. Why? Why is this cage moving all by itself? It's probably bad area. That's probably why. Scratches on the wall. Whatever made these was trying to get through the ceiling. Pick up the note. Wortham Willows. Oh god, that's a lot. I probably won't read that. Okay. Let's 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 jump up here really quick because my curiosity is gonna kill me. But I really want to know. It feels like something heavy moved. It had to be that pulley system I found earlier. Whoa! And Stasio Abor, this lever opens the crypt door. Wortham hid the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. Oh, oh. I think I might have goofed. It reminds me of Twilight Princess Zelda, because a lot of the spirits there showed up as little flames. Oh, that's just me. Personally, that's just me. Alright, guys, I'm going to end it here. Um, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I, Again, I'm loving this so far. Please, ooh, wait, I have a question. I have a quick thing. What if I go into spirit? I knew it! That is so creepy. What the heck? It's not empty. Oh, that's creepy. Let me know what you guys think of this, honestly. I want to know, because if you guys want, I can keep doing this. I would love to keep doing this. I'll probably do another couple parts, see if you guys can get in the mood of this, if you guys aren't already. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't. I'll see you guys all next time for some more Whispering Lips.